Survey research is one of the most frequently used research designs in social science uh, research studies. What is a survey research? Why do we use survey research? And how is actually survey research conducted? These are the questions that we will respond to in this brief presentation. So first of all, um, we will begin with a definition of survey research, or in other words, what is a survey research? So as I said in the beginning, it is one of the most frequently used research methods in social sciences. Um, and the basic aim of survey studies is collecting and analyzing data on a large scale in order to explore respondents' opinions, views, perceptions, understandings, judgments, or knowledge and awareness about social phenomena, which uh, includes social phenomena, uh, political situations, political phenomena, economic situations, um, educational issues, trends, and problems, to name a, a few. Um, as we know that phenomena, and especially social phenomena, encompass a wide variety of fields and areas. So, but these are the, uh, the, the most prominent ones, include social, political, economic, and educational issues and trends and problems. So these are some of the phenomena that um, uh, actually are explored using the opinions, views, perceptions, understandings, and judgments, knowledge, and awareness of the participants in survey studies. And so, Basically, survey studies help in collecting and analyzing data on a generally on a large scale uh, related to people's uh, views, perceptions, understandings, their level of knowledge and awareness related to social phenomena. Now, generally, it is associated with quantitative research. Uh, but there could be instances where surveys could be used in qualitative studies as well or in mixed method research studies. Now, why do we use surveys as a research design? Well, survey studies are conducted mainly to make informed decisions. Um, and generally, governments businesses, um, research institutions on a national level, international level, NGOs, etc. Also educational institutions uh, need to conduct surveys in order to make informed decisions. For example, governments need, may need to conduct a survey in order to know about people's, citizens, views, or their perceptions related to particular decisions that the government wants to make or that the, that the government has already made. Similarly, businesses, um, large-scale businesses or even small-scale businesses, um, such as, let's say, a food chain, want to explore people's views or perceptions related to the items that they are producing in the market. Similarly, uh, international institutions or research institutions are interested in knowing people's perceptions related to national and international issues. Also, educational instit institutions might want to conduct surveys related to the kind of educational services that they are providing or the kind of curriculum um, that they have uh, implemented or that they want to implement and also um, research studies uh, uh, that are conducted 
because there are there are requirements for for degrees. So student researchers researchers might conduct surveys in order to produce research thesis that are essential requirements for their degrees. So these are the various uh, prominent reasons because of which survey studies are conducted. Um, similarly, individual professionals such as uh, teachers um, or doctors or engineers or uh, people in other professions might also want to conduct surveys in order to see the uh, requirements of their professions or the success or the problem areas in their relevant fields and in their professional practices. So for that reason, also survey researches might be used. Now the how question, how actually means uh, how are surveys conducted. Now there are different types of surveys um, and some surveys are large scale surveys such as countrywide census is an example of that. So if a survey is conducted on a country level or on a, or a continental level or even on world level that will be considered as a large scale survey. Small scale surveys are the ones that are con conducted on a small level, such as a survey in a school or in a hospital, or a, a survey that a student conducts for their research thesis. These will be considered a small scale surveys. Then cross-sectional surveys uh, is another form of survey which is actually the collection and analysis of data at one time or over a short span of time. Generally, cross-sectional um, type of uh, surveys are aimed at exploring current conditions of social phenomena. Um, so, for example, a student researcher wants to conduct a survey in order to explore the, the, the teaching styles that teachers use in, in schools in the current circumstances, um, such as the, during the circumstances of the COVID, the prevalent COVID uh, pandemic circumstances. Similarly, a school principal might want to conduct a survey of regarding the popularity of, uh, of teachers in the school and similarly a hospital administrator might, might want to conduct uh, a survey related to the kind of practices that doctors, the kind of, uh, of, of interaction that doctors have with, with the patients. So um, if a survey is conducted at a particular point of time or during a very short period of time that will be considered as cross-sectional survey. On the other hand, longitudinal surveys are surveys <clears throat> that are aimed at the collection and analysis of data over an extended period. For example, uh, such uh, longitudinal surveys often span over years or decades and generally these longitudinal surveys or surveys that, that take place over a longer period of time, their aim is exploring possible change in social phenomena over a period of time. For example, what changes have taken, uh, have taken place or are taking place or have been taken place uh, over a period of time in the teacher-student relationship or the kind of teaching that happens um, at a particular level. So what kind of teaching happened, uh, let's say, uh, two or three years ago and what kind of teaching is happening uh, after the passage of two or three years, uh, that is something that will happen, that, that will be explored through Longitudinal surveys. 
Longitudinal surveys could also be used in other fields of social sciences, including uh, economics or sociology or psychology or any other field of social sciences. Now we move on to the last part of the presentation and that is what is the process involved in the general survey research? Well, so generally what happens is that the survey research begins with the formulation of research objectives and before that the selection of the research topic. This is followed by the development of data collection tools such as questionnaires or scales or interviews, schedules, etc. Um, so generally questionnaires, quantitative uh, type of data collection tools are generally associated with surveys. But there are, there are surveys in which uh, a, mix, uh, a mix of both quantitative and qualitative data collection methods could be used, including interviews and scales, and in some cases observations as well. Um, so either you develop data collection tools, uh, generally in surveys primary uh, data is collected and these are the tools that are used, used in primary data collection process. So tools could either be developed by the researchers or they could be adapted from uh, other researchers. Then if the tools are developed primarily for the the research that is being conducted, the next process is the validation and authentication of the survey tools. So survey tools need to be validated and they, they need to be authenticated so that authentic and good quality data is collected. The validation and authentication processes include peer review and um, also the process of pilot studies. Then this is followed by the data collection process and the data analysis process. And this ultimately leads to findings and conclusions um, of the survey. And on the basis of the findings and conclusions, recommendations are made for practice and for action and also for further research.